when we look at the pelvic floor every day, there's a lot of confusion by a lot of people when they're coming in and out of my office about where the tube of the bladder is. So when you actually look at the closing and the opening of that urethral sphincter, so that's what you and I void out of, that's where our pee comes out of, right? That area there lies right here. So if you look at vaginal opening, here's actually the opening of the urethral sphincter. The difference is though, when you're in our office and we're actually doing an internal exam, think of it what we're doing. We wanna actually be able to see if the tube of the bladder feels stable in its position, especially during perimenopause and menopause timeframes, sometimes even after crazy births where we might have a big baby and as that baby was coming down the pipe, down vaginal vault, it's like dragging or pulling at a bladder or pulling at the tube. So the tube of the bladder, think of it when we look at it, when we're testing it, we're gonna go right to the 12 o'clock position and that tube of that bladder lies right here. So what we're gonna do when we test that tube of the bladder is we're gonna put our finger in right at the 12 o'clock mark. So clitoral bulb is up here, right? Tube is here. And we're gonna see when someone pulls their belly muscles in, does the tube of the bladder move north with the pulling of their deep abdominal muscles in? Or does the tube of the bladder never move under my finger? It helps me know if the endopelvic fascia is actually attached like it should be to the bladder itself. 